Jā, nu, prieks visus redzēt rīt ļoti svarīgu spēlu kārtējā šajā sezonā pret Ungārijas Kečka metī sākamā pirms spēles preses konferences Dugles Saurelī un Tomislavs Stipičs kopā ar jums. Būs nedaudz limitētas laikas, skaidrs, ka tūlīt treniņš sāksies tā kā sāksim ar Dugles un tad laidīsim viņu prom un tad arī treners atbildēs savu. Hello, everyone. Um, it's, uh, we know tomorrow we have to win and um, we are prepared for that. Uh, we prepare all the week for this uh, important game that we have tomorrow. And uh, we know every win is uh, important for us. Thank you, Doug. Yeah, Koko, the other time. Douglas, uh, from the first game, what you saw on the pitch, how did you felt and what's the opponent's strong sides? Where have Riga have problems in the first game? Yeah, we knew it, it was going to be a hard game for us, as is normal in this competition. But uh, from my side, I think we, we are much better. And uh, tomorrow we have one more time to show. You have some, uh, lead, uh, you have some uh, attackers in the team, new, newcomers in the team. Do you feel like a leader of this team or also you feel a competition from, from newcomers? that you need to fight for your place in the, in the starting 11? In football, every day you have to fight for your place. <laughs> it's uh, nothing, it's never guaranteed that we will play. And we have uh, really new, new good players, good strikers. And uh, as I said, every day we start from zero here. Okay, let's continue. Uh, coach, please, also your commentary about upcoming match. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yes, uh, what to say is uh, second second game, and um, of course, uh, after this win against Daugapils, uh, we started preparation for for our European opponent, and uh, I think we are good in time. Of course, they didn't play a match between our games. We played since few months, many games, all three, four days for us is, for us is uh, just daily business and we will be prepared and uh, I have a very good feeling we played home. Um, we analyzed this game in, in, in Hungary and uh, of course uh, we, 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 we would make mistake if we think now like last 15, 20 minutes is a real picture from this game in Hungary because they was finished with the energy. We need to analyze only this 70 minutes uh, before and where there was like competitive and strong and duels with uh, with uh, second 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 ball style with fighting with crosses with you know uh, with their weapon and uh, we need to prepare for that and uh, but um, I have good mood and positive feelings and let's 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 play and talk after. Yeah, okay, uh, opposition coach uh, today said that uh, he thinks that they have uh, 60% and Riga has 40%. What are your feelings about these chances? Oh, um, yes, maybe starting point now it's uh, on because they have plus one, but uh, we know each win for us it's minimum uh, minimum extra time. So uh, we don't need to to lose head, we no need to to think what the coach say. You know, I think he generally, uh, like every coach in the European league, do great job. But also little uh, little help with this penalty, little some situation we missed uh, some chances. You know, in this game we missed little luck. You know, to be honest, you know we concede this goal uh, without Dashkevich, who was waiting to come inside. We was playing with ten players then. So many, many things, you know, happens and um, but uh, we need to focus on us, no need to focus on referee, uh, can be better also in next game than in last game, but uh, we need to focus on us, everything good. After Daugopil's game, you said that uh, Virsliga is the main target, uh, is the champion path and, and, and so on, and that the uh, Conference League is like a hobby game. But from a psychological point of view, sometimes in Virsliga there are no full stands, but tomorrow it will be probably full house, many emotions. From this point of view, as a coach, as a person, do you feel that this competition tomorrow will be maybe even much more important? You know, uh, sometimes uh, it always depends how you sell your product. 
you and if I say like hobby, maybe someone of you smile. If I say it's the most important game, maybe not. Uh, I don't know. You know, it's uh, just um, tomorrow is stage for for um, good guys, strong mentality players, for players with quality, and we have enough of, of them in our squad and. As I told you, um, um, I look forward for this game, and uh, we will we will play, of course, with head and uh, with heart. And uh, I expect uh, that my team will win. Simple. Krish, pretnie ku treneris sasācīja par situāciju, ka viņi ierdušies uz spēli divas dienas pirms un gribēja trenēties. Vakardien tas ir otrdien un nav atraduši nevienu laukumu. Varbūt var arī pakomentēt, kas par situāciju, kā jau ir zaļie laukumi Rīgā? Nu, acīm redzot, viņi neatrada laukumu, bet ja nopietni, tad nu, pirmkārt mums jānodrošina šis oficiālais pirms spēles treniņš. Tā tad dienu pirms mača un divas dienas pirms īstenībā mēs pat nācām pretī, tas nav mūsu uzdevums atrast viņiem laukumu. Un, nu, arī tur bija komentāri par to, ka mēs viņus neesam novērtējuši, tagad mēs viņiem laukumu neesam atraduši. Tā kā zināms noteikti spēles kaut kur aizskart. Mēs nācām pretī, mēs piedāvājām treniņu piņķos uzreiz pēc tam, kad viņi atlido, bet viņiem nedarēja laiks. Nu, Tā kā nu, nav tas mūsu pienākums obligātais viņiem atrast laukumu, un es domāju, ka tur vairāk, vairāk nekādu tur citi jautājumi nav. Nu, varbūt savā ziņā viņiem arī tā pieredze kaut kur pietrūkst. Nu, ir komandas, kas tomēr uzreiz, kad ierodās vienojas ar kaut kādu turismu firmu vai kaut kādiem pārstāvjiem, kas to laukumu arī viņiem atradīs. Nu, mēs tomēr neesam viņu turismu kompāniju, tā kā nu, es domāju, ka tur vairāk, vairāk nav ko teikt. Uh, and one more question to coach. Uh, in absence of uh, Jurkovskis, uh, probably the, the um, role of uh, Gotjeman Kenda could grow. Uh, has he changed after your harsh words about his attitude? I cannot remember on these words. I just give him love. You know, it's... Uh, Jurkovski, I think, is uh, can be also fit tomorrow. Um, we will see, you know, I think... Um, um, Mankenda, Jutkovski, can be Mika Soisalo, can be, he can play also right back, he played the national team right back. So we have many, many players, uh, El Bashir can play right back. So really I have too many, too many options, too many good players. It's just, uh, you know, we, we need to stay calm and uh, to believe in our, in our quality. Yeah, coach, uh, what can you say about competition in attacks. You guys came here, Iberico, and Contreras, uh, Taivo, and started play already. How can you describe this competition in, in the front line, in attack? I'm unbelievable, you know. These guys come uh, like without preseason, like Taivo, Contreras, Iberico. Of course, they played some, some their competition in, in South America, but you know, everything is, uh, everything is new for them here. Without adaptation, they catch, they catch our mentality, they catch our rules. They, 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 they from, from the beginning, they felt like at home here. And uh, only with this feeling, you are like competitive. You can be ready to, and they score, they score, score, score. And uh, it's most important, you know, for striker. And in last game from three strikers score all three. And um, I, if these guys started with us in January or February, you know, they will be now like uh, already stars, but they need to, now to help us to become next season star and or maybe in group stage if we win tomorrow and go next round, we will try in Europe. So it's, all, it's everything up to us. Mm, what do you expect uh, from the catch committee tomorrow? What do you think? Will they change his uh, system or...? I don't know if, if it's Shabo, Shabo, if it's injury or he will play. He, I expect from them uh, long balls. They will change nothing. They will play the same football like at home. They will operate with long balls. They will, 
you know, we need to know this guy which jump is not uh, dangerous. Uh, guys around him or in front of him are dangerous, you know. We need only to focus to don't lose players around this jumper, you know. And we need to take rebound, you know, and uh, we need to take second ball. We, uh, and uh, they will shoot from 20, 30 meters. They will finish their actions when they are in our half. They will cross, they will try to, yes, maybe to, 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 um, to take fouls, to, to, to have some standard situation, you know, but uh, we know everything is not, is not now something which can surprise us, you know, it's a really good team, you know, and also experienced coach, if you see, he brought second striker taught last 15 minutes in at home and, you know, this coach has quality, we don't need to speak, his team has quality, but, uh, you know, also I believe in me and my team and I think why we, uh, why we um, no need, it, or why we will not win tomorrow, I believe we will win and we will go to next round, this is my my, my attitude, this is my expectation because I invest a lot of work with these children in Gadelob and they follow my rules and if they are only focused on their work and uh, no need to think about result, this is open game and uh, we can tomorrow make here many, many people happy. Okay, guys, maybe one, two questions and we need to finish, okay? Uh, as Douglas missed a penalty in the last game against Dalgov Pils, will he still be the penalty taker or did you give that role to another player? I took him, that's why here today, because to build his confidence, I think after this press conference, which he did very, very good, he is ready tomorrow for a scoring penalty. Okay, maybe one more. If not, we will go to the training. Thank you very much and see you tomorrow. Yep. Thank you. Thank you.